Yo. What up? All right. Um, so, uh, we got another one from Conan. Hmm. Okay. Conan. Yeah. What we got? This is Conan learns to survive in the Australian bush. <laughs> okay. Okay. I wonder how long he'll be surviving. It should be difficult. I think Australia has, like, a lot of deadly animals and insects. Yeah. And reptiles. All types of spiders. Yeah. <laughs> so you've been a, if you're in a bush. <laughs> yeah, I don't think he'll be learning how to survive. He may be just trying to survive. Yeah. Yeah. All right, man. You ready? Yes. I decided to travel from Sydney to the Australian bush, a dangerous land where only the strong survive. That's why I hired someone strong to guide me. Kevin, good to see you. It's good to see you. <laughs> this is a vest. <laughs> what are you wearing? War. Uh, in the 80s in New York. Uh, Cloud Dundee. Yep. What do you think of my arms, just before we go any further? Muscles. You can do a bit more work. <laughs> this is a southern tree funnel web. Uh, oh. Not just in trees, they live also under rocks. This thing can kill me? Absolutely. Yes, within oh, 20 God. minutes. These are under rocks? So what's the yeah, way to avoid Yeah, they're just under rocks. Stop just gesturing around like they're everywhere. Are they really everywhere? <laughs> Why are we here? Yeah. Why did we come here? Because they Why are didn't like... we just meet at the yeah. Four Seasons Hotel lobby? <laughs> we could have had iced teas, and we could have, you could have shown me the same f-ing book. <laughs> so this thing is under rocks. Yes. So what's the, what's the number one tip? Don't look under rocks. Don't, don't look under rocks. <laughs> okay. I have a habit, okay. I've had this for a long time, it's probably a bad habit, of if I see a stone and I want to know what's underneath, I use my genitalia to flip it. <laughs> Is that something I shouldn't be doing here? <laughs> lucky you. Yeah. Yeah, it is lucky me. Yes, it is. I don't even have to move. You get that rock from over there, from right here. <laughs> long penis joke. Okay. Okay. Next one. Is this guy here? Uh, stinging ants. Very dangerous. Wait, so you're saying this ant could kill me? Yes, absolutely. Oh my god, yeah, ants! Full blown anaphylactic shock. Uh, in fact, my wife stood on a nest. Uh, she turned white, her lips turned blue, she crapped her pants, and I had to take her to hospital. Mm. <laughs> Does your wife mind that you put in the part where she crapped her Yeah. <laughs> Damn. Just leave that part out. Oh god. What is that? That's a trap for a spider. Sometimes you can get them to come out if you just play around with the web. That's good. Taunting the deadly spider. (laughs) Trying to get it to come out of its hole. Is there any chance I'm going to get to use this? I'm sure we can find something you can do with that. Let's see yours. Uh, Let's compare. Not a noise. <laughs> Trust me, I got old in the States 20 years ago. Mm-hmm. <laughs> Four, yeah. Oh wow, this is wombat berry. Now, um, how many of these do I have to eat to sustain myself to stay alive? Well, probably 500. 500? <laughs> so you thought this vest was a waste of time? Look at that. <laughs> this is the pocket I used to keep cocaine in. Now, <laughs> wombat berries. What a turn of events. A. Eh? This is a bunion nut. Wait, these fall out of trees? Yes. That's heavy. That's why I'm looking up. We've got to be very careful. <laughs> wow. Under the trees, because some of these can weigh up to 10 kilograms. So we could be killed at any, uh, at any moment? Yes. Let's, let's get out of here. My goodness. There's a wind blowing. I don't want to be killed by a bunion nut. <laughs> <laughs> Remember I was telling you about the tree funnel webs. So this one will kill you as well. And you're poking it why? I'm hoping to get it to come out so you can have a look at it. I'm good. You can show me on the internet. You just have a reputation with all the spiders. You know, you're like a Mormon at the door. Ding dong, ding dong. It's Kevin with a stick. <laughs> Maiden hair for him. This is, we can make a cup of tea out of that one. A cup There's of a little, tea. A cup of tea. Well, great job, Kevin. We've been out here for four hours wandering around. And uh, so far, we've got three wombat berries and the makings of what looks to be a third of a cup of tea. <laughs> This is what they give you in coach now on most airlines. <laughs> Hold it, this branch is in my way. <laughs> they just sharpen it. It's not sharp. 
That must be a prop. <laughs> Damn. Tony, this is Swilax glycophila. Common name is sarsaparilla tea. You know what? It's starting to add up. I now have three berries and the makings of two cups of different herbal tea. It's basically the diet of a 98-year-old woman. <laughs> We've collected a little bit of food. Now it's time to make a fire. Uh, yeah. Fire. Come on, baby. He never about to do I want to have some of that herbal tea. <laughs> I don't see no smoke. Oh. That's oh, yeah, much see faster. smoke. Damn. We can throw it into that little bird's nest that we prepared. Where do we get that little bird's nest? Oh, yeah. Right here. Let me explain to everyone. We shaved my crotch about an hour ago. <laughs> 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 uh, we have fire. This is amazing. I caveman. so primal. Oh okay. god! Good feeling. Well, is that your first friction fire? That is my first. Well, <laughs> 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 yes, it is. It's the first friction fire. This is the bunion nut. Bunion These nut. fall from the trees. How many nuts will fill you up? Well, <laughs> that's a loaded question. Whenever I hear the cameraman James laughing, I know someone <laughs> said something that could be construed as dirty if you're a four-year-old. <laughs> I have an endless appetite for nuts. You Are you happy now, Kevin? I just like to lean my head back and just drop those nuts in. <laughs> as many as you can. And I'm never satisfied till I have many. hundreds of nuts in my mouth. <laughs> Big, meaty nuts. You liking this? Yeah. I bet yeah, you yeah. are. Doesn't matter to me. Dip them in and dip them out. <laughs> mm, nuts. This one looks done just before they turn black. Right here? Pull that out. Pull that fleshy part. What kind of nuts are those? <laughs> no comment. <laughs> Maybe I'll go out and forage. Hey, mate. Uh, hey. Look what I found. Oh, I found a Jack Daniels root. Oh, wow. <laughs> it out of the ground. Uh -huh. It's all about resourcefulness out here. Uh, uh, don't panic. Don't panic. Oh, I thought that was yeah, real. I thought that was real. Just wander around until you find little bottles of liquor. Nature provides. Uh, <laughs> yeah, the spider's gone up his leg. <laughs> yeah, I thought those were real. I was like, hold on a second. <laughs> oh, man, yeah, he would have jumped so fast. Yeah, I mean, there's too many things that can kill you. Definitely, man, definitely. Yeah, yeah, I wouldn't have been anywhere where those spiders are going to be at. And then ants that can kill you? Mm-hmm. I imagine he was talking about a bunch of ant bites. She said she stood right in the mound. Yeah. Okay, I know what I'm saying. But still. Yeah. And the trees can shock. kill you? Oh, for sure. The trees, yeah. the... Coconuts. Yeah, There's but big I mean, things falling. Yeah, you know. yeah no coconut trees here. <laughs> nah. Damn. Yeah, man, that's dangerous. Very dangerous. Very, very dangerous. I don't know, though. Yeah, man, I should have counted some other animals, too, man, like kangaroos. That would have been funny. Kangaroos can kill you. For sure. Them things are dangerous. Mm -hmm. They look like they got arms. I mean, it's a lot of things. Muscular like, arms. Yeah, big swole arms. Them things <laughs> grab your hat. <laughs> uh, yeah. yeah, yeah. I don't know if I'll be visiting Australia. Maybe I, you know, maybe maybe I it's like not that visit. dangerous. I just wouldn't go anywhere near the wildlife and stuff like that. You know what I mean? But yeah. you know, I hear that you know a lot of places that you know they'll have the snakes in their houses and the spiders like that in their houses. So oh, I mean, no. it's just like, oh no. <laughs> anywhere you go. Maybe if you, live, if you live like in the middle of the city or something. Nah, man. Nah. I mean, you probably have other types of animals and shit. Because yeah, Australia's know. big. Australia's a big ass continent. <laughs> you know, there's got to be somewhere where, there, <laughs> where there's something that can't kill. There's got to be some safe place in all of Australia I can go. <laughs> man. Oh, man. Yeah, man. I think they killed out their, all their, nat their natural predators, like, uh, like lions and shit like that. Like, they ain't got none of those. But there used to be. Yeah. But yeah. At least as far as that goes. Hmm. Yeah, that would make it even worse if it... Then you'd just be Africa if you had lions. <laughs> I imagine there's a whole bunch of shit that can kill you in Africa. <laughs> oh, definitely. Uh, yeah, man. Australia, man. Conan survived. 
just the way I thought he did. Did he really survive? Would he? Would Conan survive by himself? Oh, absolutely not. But, I don't think he would but last. But as a tour hour. guide looking for for Walter, what was it? Was it berries, wild berries, and and uh, and some nuts, and collecting herbal teas. Yeah, that's right up Conan's alley. That was probably out there for only like twenty minutes. <laughs> <laughs> Ten minutes. <laughs> okay, we got to get out of here. <laughs> oh man, he said you can show me this in the lobby of the Four Seasons, man. Yeah, TV. <laughs> see a lot on TV nowadays or online. 